Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome once again to the Lewisham Concert Hall here in Catford, another freestyle wrestling session. And a heavyweight bout is the preliminary contest. In fact, there are really a no preliminary contest here this afternoon. They're all main bouts. This one, Honey Boy Zimba from Sierra Leone. At 14.12, Steve Veder, his opponent, at 15.1 from Ellesmere Port. Veder in his usual light yellow trunks. The referee, Max Ward. Max Ward of Birmingham. Just one fall besides this six-round contest. Zimba, of course, the strength to keep Vida in that position as long as he likes. He won't do too much good. Double-handed receiver gets Vida now and again. to a mayor. Been in the wrong end of the bout all the way so far, and suddenly he comes back with that very quick maneuver into a mayor. Back to the double-handed wrist table. Collects more lady ringside seaters than practically any wrestler. And this afternoon, he's uh, got no exception. The place is pretty packed here at the Lewisham Concert Hall in Catford, and an awful lot of them here near ringside to catch a close up of this handsome Adonis from Ellesmere Port. Now, of course, Steve Feeder lives in Croydon. But uh, he was born and is always billed from Ellesmere Port. Vader's got one of the most powerful guys in the opposite corner to him today. In the professional world. Ah, yes, got out just in time before that, and the first one to grin his appreciation there, Honey Boy Zimber. Hold now. Not with your back hammer on. We do not even try it again. Thirty seconds to go, round one. And again, a quick counter move by Vida, very fast. That's what he's got to be all the way through this bout here today. Into a head scissors. He's only got just about 10 seconds to go.
Honey Boy Zimber, 14 stone 12 from Sierra Leone. There he is, the man with the 19 and a quarter inch neck. Real power there, and if he ever does lose his temper, then anybody, even including Steve Vitter, his opponent here this afternoon, had better escape out of the ropes or keep out of his way on a bicycle or something. Round two. No score because this is a one full contest here at the uh, Lewisham Concert Hall, Catford. And the first bout with one full bout, six rounds, five to go. Steve Vito versus Honey Boy Zimba. Honey Boy Zimba, of course, the West African. Started by Vito, this is uh, pretty nasty, but not so nasty as you would be if uh, Zimber got it on him. Vito holding it well, though, that side headlock. Got his man back to canvas. Unlikely to hold him there as early as round two. A few weakness first, if he can find any weakness to dish out to a man like Zimba. but gently trying a slow shoulder press over the top there. Finally, a counter by Zimba. First a single back hammer, then an arm lock against the joint. against the joint again. Vita taking a bridge there. Almost, the left elbow helping him a little. But the point is, the arm lock is still very much there. The cross buttock won't help him. but he's grabbed the double finger into lock, and that's a dangerous thing to do even when this man's back to canvas. <laughs> no, he just wouldn't go with it at all. <laughs> Vita realizes no hope of that one, so grins and releases. Waste hold from the rear, Zimba. Little clumsy, but I think that no, didn't even end up with a good hold. Over the top now for the shoulder press, Peter. But the right shoulder clear, clear by a long way. Referee Max Ward getting as far as a counter one only on a couple of occasions there. Less than a minute to go now. Round two. That backhammer didn't last long by Zimbo. Oh, yeah, you can't feel way out of trouble. Eh? Telegraph that one, Zimbo. 
and he attacked a little bit too early. Misunderstanding, 30 seconds to go. Nice late trip forward this time, right up to the top quick, front head chancery. Ten seconds. And Zimbra has left this attack, which I believe is developing slowly into a grovet. A little bit too late, and Vida out on the belt. Steve Vider, now billed from Croydon, but originally from Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. V Vider, who uh, has a couple of occasions taken on Albert Wolf, Rocky Wolf, the uh, heavy, uh, heavyweight title of Great Britain, and there's a talk now that he might have a third chance at it, but not necessarily with Wall. I believe the title might be left vacant soon, but more about that when I know more. Second away, round three. Round three, four rounds to go. One fall decides this contest at heavyweight Honey Boy Zimba versus Steve Vito. Vito attacks at the start of this third round. Max Ward from Birmingham, the referee. Oh, yes. Now, if it, I hope this is not going to start too often, this uh, head butting to the forehead, because that really will slow this otherwise. Excellent bout up. A strangle hold with the right arm. He had his right arm through before. Folding press attempt, but Simba goes right over so easily. Don't know what he gave Max Ward there, but no, it wasn't a tooth. It's just a. <laughs> Uh, a little screw out of the corner of the a ring apron, I think. But it wouldn't be the first time if it was a tooth. Many, many teeth have been handed down to me here at ringside from forearm smashes. So still the full Japanese triangle hold to Zimba. Well, it's the first real strength hold we've had in this bout so far. Either using his height well, but not well enough, maybe. No. Yes. <laughs> but it didn't last. Vida is sweating quite a bit, but nothing to like so much as Zimba pouring off him. Arm up attempt now by Vida. Still there. Vida not attempting it to go with the joints at all. No, he only went halfway, trying the trying head scissors there, which doesn't help him really to get out of an arm lock. against the joint, and Vida's got two minutes to make this pay. Interesting to see whether Zimba does go right over the top to get out of the same body, considering his opponent's height advantage. That's the hour to weaken. He just trying his best to do so. That 
famous right arm of Honey Boy Zimba. Probably one of the most powerful arms in the wrestling business. that joint, the elbow joint. All sorts of advice to Zimber from the crowd here at uh, Tedford. 30 seconds. Reach the second head up to Vito's forehead, but back in the arm lock again. Vito's sweating a little now, but he's going to have a break for a, in a very short time, in about four seconds. <laughs> Honey Boy Zimba, Sierra Leone. Speciality, the head swing. He uses this uh, powerful neck of his for this head swing, which is a tremendous move if we can see a chance to, uh, to get it here today in this boat. <laughs> Doesn't very often use it these days, and especially against a man who's got a tremendous uh, height advantage over him, because Vita is way, way higher than uh, Simba. Second away, round four. And here at the Lewisham Concert Hall, Catford, the six five-minute round contest, one fall to the side, three rounds to go. It's Honey Boy Zimba versus Steve Vido, and Vido there receiving his third, receiving his third headbutt to the forehead. And Zimba nearly getting a public warning for delivering it because his man was on the deck when he executed the move. This time he takes the referee Max Ward's advice, stands away after delivering the lot. A flying tackle, Vito. Now, if he can unbalance Zimbo, he's in business. Can he hold it? Now, those powerful arms again throw him off. The butt to the stomach, the double leg grab by Z. Oh, very nearly into a Boston, but nicely thrown off by Vito. smashes. Mm, I don't know whether that's a good idea against this man, but Vito just throwing in a couple there may not be doing much good. The headlock and strangle hold put on really perfectly there by Steve Vito. into a side head chancery there by Vito. There it is. All starting with a headlock and strangle. He switched holes in the middle without releasing his man. Went with the break there, followed it down quickly, but I don't think it'll be quick enough or heavy enough onto this big man from Sierra Leone to hold him a count of three. Not from that angle, anyway. Trutch holds, attempted slam, and come off. Vida still holding the side head chancel. Prevented his opponent slamming then. Really 
turning that head with this uh, old back elbow to the stomach, but still he doesn't release. Trying to lay it on even harder. Throwing him out one. He, uh, that was very, very near that because the right knee of Vito came over onto Zimba's right arm, but couldn't reach with the left. But the nearest is Ben to a pinfall. Count of two. Just under a minute to go in this fourth round of six. One fall decides the bout. his speed once more in an attack. Twelve seconds. extremely well to stay four rounds without even a, a pinfall chance really against him. In fact, the only two pinfall chances have been in this bout up to now uh, by him. <laughs> He's grinning, I think, somebody because there are a few ladies just behind him in the crowd there making remarks, which they, of course, cannot resist doing when this, uh, their favorite heavyweight is in the room. Second away, round five. Round five. Two to go. Great knee drop by Zimba. One fall decides the contest. Two rounds to go. Vider versus Honey Boy Zimba from West Africa. Full Boston to Zimba. The first danger that Vido's really been in for quite for a couple of rounds anyway. Fall through those legs, yes, first time, but the legs, his own legs are still caught well in the Boston Crab if Zimba can turn. Nice throw. Again, trying the butts when he gets really worried about things, Zimba tries that butt to Vito's forehead. Paul Nelson now, Zimberg. Hardly reached, but he's got it on pretty far. And again. Turn. Double arm there. One with the legs, one with the arms. Now, can he cause him to lose balance? Get him over the top for a shoulder press. This is what he's aiming for. There's the shoulder press. Two, three, he's got it. And Vita's made it in round five. Very, very well done indeed. Steve Vita. And it turned out to be a great bout in the finish with a win to Vita in round five. And Bobby Palmer, our MC, to announce it. Uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I feel sure you've seen a good contest, a good heavyweight contest. And the winner by the only four required, Steve Vita.